Hello YouTube. Well, I've been shopping again and got myself a Mybox C4 smart charger. Um, I was using a pretty inexpensive charger before, um, which I got free with some batteries, which was this one. Um, but looking around on the internet, I understand that these sort of chargers have no sort of cut out, so they just keep charging. Um, and I bought myself some Enloop batteries, and I didn't want them breaking, they're, they're not the cheapest, um, so I thought I'd buy myself a proper charger. Um, plus I also wanted to test the capacities of some batteries I've got um, see are the manufacturers lying really so I have bought myself this C4 smart charger there's a couple of well, there's quite a few chargers out there a lot of them seem to go off the same similar sort of design but this one's a little bit different um, so it was £25 on Amazon and it's got quite a few features on it uh, so it's compatible with quite a lot of different batteries I'll show you the back which lists them all out it's got it says simple operations but I have actually had this out of the box before I've unboxed it to just have a little look at it and it's it's okay to use it's, it is fairly simple once you get the hang of it uh, so it's got triple protection uh, you could also put it it's got another hole so you could put it in a car basically uh, this back's got more features so yeah it's got reverse battery short circuit protection um, and it will go on to like a trickle charge when the battery is um, full so that you don't overcharge your batteries I think somewhere should have there you go a list of the different types of batteries that it will charge now I'm really only going to be using ooh, I didn't even know they made 4A uh, AAA, AA and probably 18650 rarely but that's all I've got in the rechargeable battery department let's open her up have a look inside so we've got the unit itself. That's there. We've got power cable and also this little expansion slot which I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, so we've got some instructions which are fairly brief. Um, I wouldn't say they're the simplest instructions to follow, but they're okay. I mean what it's not an overly complicated unit, there's not that much to it. Um, so on here you've got four bays. All four bays can be used for charging. However, this one bay can be used for discharging and also testing batteries. So what it will do, it will, it will, I believe it discharges it to zero or as low as it can safely go and recharges it back up. That way it can figure out how much milliamp hour the battery can take. So if it can take 2000, then it must be a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So that's quite a good way to test the, their genuine capacities because you will find on eBay you'll get companies creating ridiculous milliamp hours. There was one on there the other day I saw, reckon you could fit 9,000 milliamp hour into one AA battery. Uh, I think Tesla would like to know if they could get that sort of energy density in a small battery, so it's not really possible. So this little adapter they give you here is for AAA batteries. I'll show you how that works. Let's grab some out of the drawer. So if you was to put them in a normal bay, they'd just jump all over the show. So on here, this sort of holds it in place. So that's a nice feature. Uh, this can take, it says C batteries. C batteries are fairly big, they're not as big as, as the D batteries, which are the next one up. I would assume, but I don't have any C batteries to try it out, that you'd maybe only be able to put one in that slot because it would overrun there or maybe two there, not really sure. Uh, so don't really have any to test out. So there's two buttons on this. It's a fairly simplified unit. Let's focus in on there. Yes, yeah, so you've got a slot one to switch between the slots and you've got a mode button. I'll show you in a second how it works, but this mode button sort of acts as three buttons in one. So you've got quick press like that. You've got your hold and press and you've also got like a it takes some getting used to um, how hard you need to press it. So it's a fairly well built plastic unit. So it's got these sort of one size fits all sort of adapters. And as I say, only this one can be used for charge uh, for discharging, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, if you do get units out there that can do all three or four even, um, but they are a bit more pricey. This was twenty five pounds. Construction is quite good. Uh, so let heat out the back. Um, same information. What batteries it can take. It's got these little rubber feet here. It doesn't 
to slide around. Uh, so let's plug it in and uh, show you around it. The capacity on these, which is meant to be, let's take them out now, so it's reading as 2101. So this is 2100, I thought it was 2400, so it's 2100, so that's spot on. So these were the energizers, these are 1300 milliamp hours. And as you see on there, it took five and a half hours to charge, uh, discharge and charge them, so a lot quicker than the last one. And 1282, so it's pretty much spot on. So let's try another. And we'll have to see how the inner loops have gone. It's meant to be 1900. 1869, it's pretty, pretty close, pretty impressed with that. Right, one more left to test. So this is the last one I've got left, which is a Recyco Pro. This is meant to be a 2000 milliamp hour one. Um, it's the cheapest battery I've got, but they do feel fairly decent. So touch wood, this should be pretty close. It's gonna take like eight hours to charge it though. Um, let's stick that in the machine and see what happens. Quite surprised at this. They're meant to be 2000 milliamp hours, but it's actually got a little bit more. Um, so now I look at it on a little chart that I've made. Right, so here's a little chart I made. Uh, feel free to pause this if you want. Um, so the ones at the top are the ones that I've tested. Uh, so you've got the claimed milliamp hours, the actual milliamp hours, uh, difference, and then the percentage of claimed. Um, so on these, most of them I've only used four or five times probably. Uh, the inner loops I haven't charged them, they are literally brand new. Um, the recyclers are probably the ones I've used the most, and so, believe it or not, they've actually got more in them than they're claimed, which I'm quite surprised with, to be honest with you. Um, I've got the energizer down here, which is one that I have. I've also got basically a 2000 milliamp hour one and 1300 milliamp, so I've just basically gone for the same percentages. Um, I've included down the bottom two that I haven't got, which is EBL and Amazon. So the inner loops, Amazon's and the EBL is meant to be uh, LSD ones, um, so they basically lose charge slower. So they're good for things like remote controls and that sort of thing. Um, and what I've done over here is the price per cell for a, a four pack and in an eight pack. Uh, they don't all come in eight packs, to be honest with you. Um, and then figured out what's the best uh, value for money per milliamp hour. So the one that's actually coming out the lowest is the Amazon ones. Um, I've left a, read a lot of reviews about the Amazon ones. Some places are saying they're basically end loop ones repackaged, but they seem to have a quite a few bad reviews for setting on fire, um, which is a bit worrying. Um, so the EBLs are the cheapest, they're the cheapest uh, low drain one. Uh, so I'm quite surprised that the e EBL ones are that cheap really. They're, they're meant to be quite a good quality battery, but they are made in China, whereas the Amazon ones, Energizer, uh, Eneloop, yeah, they're, they're all made in Japan, which is normally the better quality ones. So from here, we've got the inner loops aren't necessarily the dearest per milliamp hour. So personally, I would probably get, well I haven't got the EBLs, but I've read a lot of good reviews about them. So I'd probably either get the EBLs or the Recyco ones for ones like uh, Xbox controllers, that sort of thing, that are high drain. Um, but for the low drain ones, I've, I'd just could go for good old inner loops. They're, they're not the cheapest but they're not as expensive, believe it or not, as you would think. So if we're looking at these Varta ones up here, so they're a pound, well, near enough pound, and it's only a little bit more for the Analoops, so I'd, I'd go for them. Um, so I'm gonna post links in the description for the charger and for all of these. Um, I'll, I'll try and do the four packs and the eight packs in there. Um, on this Recyco ones, a, a lot of the time they try, try and throw in chargers and stuff, they're only little cheap chargers, um, but if you haven't got a charger, they're quite good for that because you haven't got to worry about buying a charger separately. So, thanks for watching the video. Cheers.